Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. Hey, Exeter's like an hour away from me. And all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome break services. But although huh. I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Whoa. Was that a person? What is that? You see that there? You see that over there? If I look directly at it, it's gone. If I look to the right, that black thing right there, at the edge of the screen, watch it, keep your eye on it, and it's gone. Let's go over there and see what that is. That's like a ghost of something. This is creepy. I'm gonna turn to the right so I don't like Make it disappear. Yeah, that's a ghost. Look. It's moving. What? That's creepy. What the hell? Jesus. Come back here, ghost. Who are you? This music is fantastic. Where did you go? There he is. I want to be friends. Let's just be friends. I wonder where it's taking me. All night the boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge, and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. Let's go. He's mute, and he's retarded, and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. Oh, shit. Let's go on this goddamn fucking boat. That's creepy how that go that ghost is gone. Like, I'm gonna look out for him. See if I see him again. Or her. Or it. We'll call it it. Jesus. How do I get on this? What happened here? Can I climb? No, I guess I can't. Okay. I want to get on. Go this way. See that ghost anymore? I had kidney stones, and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. What? Kidney stones? What are you... That doesn't even make any sense. That is so strange. That's a strange sentence. So I'm, like, I'm on your piss stones right now. Every time I get closer to this thing, it seems further and further away. It's like a nightmare. 
This used to be like a town, obviously. Jesus. I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft <coughs> and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Oh. This is creepy as fuck. Like, really creepy. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Oh, I imagine not. When the oil lamps ran out, I didn't pick up a torch, but used the moonlight to read by. When I've pulled the last shreds of scent from it, I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it. Maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes, making its return to the Jesus. cave. Jesus! Perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake. I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before. Wow. So I had to go down again? Son of a bitch. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Here we go. More downward into the caves and doomy waters. Who put these fences here? Where am I? That's what I want to know. I want to go down again when I've just spent all this time going up. What's down here? Nothing but a shipwreck. Let's go back. Must be able to get up there. I think that's where I'm meant to be. Why would I want to go back down after coming all this way? What was that? There's another. I wonder if there's anything in there. Nothing. I guess I have to go that way. Oh well. Back down the mountain. Just to get up the mountain again. I don't know how I'm going to get down there. There really didn't seem to be a way down. These visuals are so cool. Alright, 
right, here we go. In a footnote, the editor comments that at this point, Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. Am I Donnelly? He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. Syphilis? That's an STI. Right? They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. He struggled <coughs> halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired, curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky. Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot. But he is proving an unreliable witness. Oh, great. Well, I'm about to see a fucking corpse then. Or a. about of remains. Why is it light in there? Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of what? my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Whoa. Jesus. That is a serious hole. Let's go.